What is your training system for the coronavirus? Are you even training at all? I, am, I hope that you are. I hope you're training your employees on how to do general cleaning and how to do disinfecting. But, uh, you know, um, on the janitorial store and myhousecleaningbiz.com, uh, you know, we have uh, a, a, just a, a wealth of training, training programs and training videos. And the, uh, the training that you should be giving your people uh, in order to, uh, you know, go out and do cleaning and disinfecting uh, should be safety training, first of all, bloodborne pathogens training, and then hazard communication. So uh, on the janitorial store, we have all that training in place. So if you want to give your people the, the training that they need in order to go out and do these, uh, these cleanings and disinfectant services, um, that's what you want to do. Now, you know, you might also think about uh, adding the uh, chemistry of cleaning uh, course to that. Because what's happening is I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of conversations with cleaning business owners and I'm, uh, I'm finding out that a lot, of, a lot of people don't understand the chemistry of cleaning. So, you know, that course would be, would be uh, just really beneficial for you and your employees uh, because it's going to explain the chemistry of cleaning. You know, what a disinfectant is, what a, what a detergent is, what a, a solvent is, and, and so on and so forth. You know, the different types of disinfectants. Um, so that'd be very, very helpful. But in any case, it's very important that, that we have training in place. Um, you know, because so many companies, cleaning companies now, are able to go and offer their clients, you know, this cleaning and disinfecting. And uh, you want to really know what the whole process is, you know. So are you using a two-pass system? Are you using a three-pass system? And, and, and what kind of a method are you using? Are you doing a spray and wipe? Are you using an electrostatic sprayer, a fogger? Uh, a pump up sprayer, what are you doing, you know? So uh, you should have all this uh, uh, in your training program uh, when you train your employees. But, you know, uh, the other thing is too, is to make sure you always have the proper PPE. Uh, I know that uh, supplies are short, you know, on PPE and uh, disinfectant solutions. In fact, some distributors are restricting you to only one or two gallons uh, of disinfectant now. But uh, in either case, you know, when you're going out and doing these, these jobs, you've got to make sure you have the proper PPE, you know, gloves, masks, uh, goggles, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, and especially if you're going to do any of the spraying or fogging, you should have the full gown outfit along with the goggles, mask, gloves, you know, and, uh, and be prepared that way. But in either case, uh, make sure that you have a, clean, uh, 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 a training system for the coronavirus. And like I say, the, the, the system that we have is our safety training, bloodborne pathogens, and hazmat, uh, hazard communication. Uh, with those three trainings, uh, you'll be set. Uh, your employers are going to know exactly uh, you know, what, what they're doing as far as uh, when it comes to uh, any uh, uh, hazard, hazard or, or bloodborne pathogens uh, cleaning. So, well, uh, that's about all I got for now. So uh, until next time, uh, you know, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. And uh, hopefully you got some uh, uh, good information from this. And if you did, go ahead and click down on the button, the like and share button, and give me a thumbs up. And, um, you know, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You, you'll find hundreds and hundreds of videos uh, that will help you build a successful cleaning business.